It's pretty simple to insert a picture into your workbook and I'll show you how to modify or some basic modifications. If you want some more advanced modifications, I recommend that you watch my other training videos like PowerPoint. I mean that application is very visual and I go over it in more depth there, but to keep it simple, for Excel, to insert a picture, come up here, click on the insert tab, go to the illustrations group, click on the picture button, and then it says okay, where's your picture or pictures? I'm going to come over here in the navigation pane, start on my desktop, and then come over here and say, okay, on my desktop, I know I have pictures in my exercises folder. Double click on that, and there they are. If you want to go ahead and insert two or more, hold down the control key after you select the first one and click on the others. I only want to insert one, so I'll select that one. And either click on the insert button or just double click, and there he is. Click and drag, move him to the center. You'll notice that when I have the picture selected, I get its related contextual format tab up at the top. When I click off, it disappears, so I'm going to go ahead and select the picture again. Picture style. Go ahead and click on the more arrow, and when you hover over it, you can see down below on the worksheet that it actually gives you a preview. If you like it, then go ahead and click on it. I'm going to go ahead and do a reflection, click on it. If I need to make change to the size of the picture, I can do it one of, well, three ways. One way is to hover over one of the uh, handles. That's a corner handle. That's a middle right, middle top, left, bottom. Lower right hand corner, click and drag. It stretches proportionally. That means when I go out, it's not going to stretch it horizontally more or vertically more. Let me go ahead and hit undo. The other two ways are the format tab to the size group. You can change the height. You see when I hover over it, it says shape height or the width. Come up here. Click and drag to select it. We'll type in 4, hit enter. It does it proportionally. Let me go ahead and hit undo. You can click on the expandable dialog box button and say that you don't want the locked aspect ratio. That means that now when I go ahead and type in a number, let me click and drag this over just a bit so you can see it, or I use the arrows, you can see that the height is shortened, but the width doesn't come in because it's no longer locked. If I lock it and I go ahead and shrink the height, you can see that the width is starting to come in as well. Let me go ahead and close out, hit undo a couple of times, get back to where I started. If I want to cut off part of the picture, in other words, I don't need to see this much monitor, it's called cropping, and you can do that by coming up here to the Format tab Size Group. Click on the Crop button. When you do that, it adds these black handles to it. I'm going to hover over the left middle crop handle, click and drag, and pull it in and it still shows you the picture is still there so you can click and drag and move it back out and then when you're finished click on the crop button again and it cuts it off click on the crop button again it brings it back so you can go ahead and readjust and get it just right and then crop it there you go if you want to add a border to it not one that's been uh, predefined in the styles here but one of my own making click on the picture border drop down arrow maybe choose a color like orange you can see it's a let me click off a thin orange border. If I want to add more weight to that border, more thickness, click on the uh, picture border, go down to weight. Let me go up here to weight. And then let's make it four and a half point. Let me go ahead and click on the uh, last one, picture effects. You can give it shadow, reflection, a nice uh, warm, fuzzy, warm, glowing glow. In fact, so you got the orange, then you have red that's glowing after it. Picture effects, a preset, click on it. And if you like it, great. If not, you need to make changes to it, select it, and either go back up into it or hit the undo arrow. If you don't have the undo option, then picture effects, presets, and say no presets. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.